Manchester by the Sea is directed by Kenneth Lonergan and stars Casey Affleck and Michelle Williams and is the story of an uncle whose nephew loses his father. And to his surprise, he's suddenly facing possible guardianship of his nephew, which to him is not the greatest scenario because he has a very tortured past as you begin to discover as you watch the film. Now, where am I? I'm currently in the Schmoes No office in LA. I came out here to do some stuff for them and they were gracious enough to let me film in their studio. So thank you to Schmoes if you don't know who they are. I mean, come on, just type in Schmoes No on YouTube and you'll find out. <laughs> I saw this film last night at the Arclight Theater here in LA and I was blown away. For the first 30 minutes or so, I wasn't really sure where this movie was going. Casey Affleck works as a handyman slash janitor and at first, he's a rough guy to like. For a long time, you're sort of watching the movie wondering, why am I supposed to like this character? Without spoiling anything, he has a really good reason for hating life. And once you learn that, it really opens up the entire film for you. For me personally, the entire film changed from then on and the movie just floored me. It swept over me entirely. It's the type of film where each scene just builds and builds and tension and drama is heaped in piles upon all of these characters. And the film also has a very clever and unconventional way of explaining its backstory. It takes you actually a few scenes to realize you're watching the past whenever it does flash back to the past. And the only real notification at first is that Casey Affleck's hair is a little more messy. It doesn't talk down to the audience in that way. It trusts that you will understand that what you're watching is in the past and begin to pick up on certain things that are hinted at later in the movie and you can sort of connect the two storylines and it becomes so much more emotionally impactful that way. And this film took me for an emotional ride. It's a tough watch. The performances are heart-wrenching. Casey Affleck gives the best work I've seen from him since Gone Baby Gone, a very underrated movie and very underrated performance from him in Gone Baby Gone. But this is definitely his best work and I can see him getting nominated for best actor largely because of how subdued he is. There isn't a moment in this movie where he's saying, look at me, I'm an actor, I get paid millions of dollars, I'm a big famous person, yay, look at me, I should get awards. He's so subtle. This is a master class in subdued acting. His performance doesn't tell you how you should feel. It doesn't tell you how he feels. You read between the lines and you can insert so much emotion into his silence and just the subtle little movements and facial expressions he makes really make his character explode in this movie. Michelle Williams is not in this film that much. She's definitely supporting, but when she's in the film, she's great. I gotta say, the performances in this movie were so real that I honestly felt like I was eavesdropping on real conversations. For a large portion of this movie, I honestly felt like I could watch five hours of it because it doesn't feel like it has a standard one, two, three act structure. It all just sort of bleeds together. And when it ends, I felt like I could have watched more because the characters were so well realized, the performances were so good, and the situational drama that gets created around Casey Affleck and his nephew, played by Lucas Hedges, very well, by the way, all of that just builds to such an emotional crescendo that when I left this theater, I just took this big breath of fresh air and felt revitalized by such a well-acted and well-directed drama and well-written. The dialogue, as I said, super realistic. Nothing about this movie feels like you're watching a Hollywood film. It felt like I was peering through the looking glass at real conversations. As for negatives, I suppose sometimes the pacing is a little slow, and on rewatch that might be an issue. Those first 30 minutes where I was like, I don't know if I feel this character, on rewatch, I will definitely like a lot more now that I know what's going on with his life. If you have an interest in acting, this film is a masterclass in it. Watch it just for Casey Affleck, Michelle Williams, and Lucas Hedges. Everyone is extremely good in this movie. It's a very well-directed and well-written movie, and I'm gonna give Manchester by the Sea an A. Guys, thank you so much as always for watching and thank you to the Schmoes for letting me use their studio. There's a link to their channel in the description below. You guys are the best. Thank you so much as always for watching and if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.